I was scared by the, the clap. I'm sorry, oh. I clapped loud. <laughs> so, song number six. six. Is Better it Better as I go? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's six. All right, so. Like, we're going through them fast. Better as I go. Better, Better as, as I, I go. go, the song that almost so, didn't happen. John, yeah. <laughs> John, would you like to uh, start us off? Well, I mean, well, well, you started the song. I thought you did it. You, I mean, you this did. Is, this is all your fault, this song. Yes. Lex, Lex started playing a riff, and then I was like, wait, what's that? And you're like, oh, no, man, he's just playing a riff. And you're like, do it, it again. again. Do it again. Play it again. <laughs> wait, hold on. Let me get the phone. Boop. Record. Yeah. And then, and then by the next week, we had the whole song. Well, sort of. Yeah, I think we I mean, had a general idea. It kind of evolved. It evolved a bit because you were singing it at first. I remember you sent over like the the chorus part, the man, 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 man. Yeah, like you sent me a, a text or something with that, and I was like, oh, well, that's a cool place for it to go because I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. And then we were playing it, and I think you, I don't know if you had like a brain fart, you didn't know where to go with it lyrically, and you were like, Aaron, sing the thing and it, it, sing it like. Uh, well, you had we all, he had some lyrics that followed the riff. Yeah, so and I was, I was like, no, I think it needs to do something more like Paul against, Rogers against the riff, uh, yeah. something against it. Yeah, and then you were like, oh, well, sing it. sing, sing what you mean, sing what you mean. And I, was, I was like, I don't know, how about this? Better as I go. Better as I go. And the rest of us were like, oh, you're well, you you're hired. <laughs> well, no, then I, then I was just singing the pre-choruses and the choruses, and you were singing the verses. Yeah. It wasn't until we went into the studio and I was recording the scratch vocal for the That's track. Really, yeah. what happened? Yeah, and yeah, I was I, like, I was doing the guide vocal. I was doing the guide vocal, like, yeah. and I was like, yeah. I think I need to sing this whole song. Yeah. <laughs> and then it just made, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. So then that begs the question, your lyrics. The lyrics your was... inspiration. The lyrics was actually a poem I wrote um, a while before you wrote the music to this. And when he was working out the chorus part, he's like, send me words that you have. So I just sent him a bunch of my lyrics that I had in my books. And he goes, this one's cool. I'm stealing this. Yeah, and he this took my that. my poem and like that became the verses. And then he wrote the better as I go section. Yeah. And it kind of became actually sent it to you at one point And like we were going to work on it. And then it became this first. So. But yeah, it was, it was definitely Paul Rogers, free, bad company inspired. Yeah. I and mean, it's, it's yeah. pretty obvious when people listen, listen to it. But. But it's still, you know, an MOB song. It just came out. Say. It came out great. I hope you they know? hear a metal reband when they hear it. The yeah, I hope so too. Almost you know. didn't happen. <laughs> but yeah, it was just like that. It was just amazing. That was like the bottom of the ninth. It seemed like, and yeah, we pretty and, much had the record. We thought we had the record done. We had all then, the songs needed. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah, then Lex, you just you played that riff, and then all of a sudden it was like, well. We have to do something with this. Oh my god, yeah, and it's, and it was like, no, we're holding this up. We're 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 not gonna finish this record until until this riff is done because this is just too good. And even even your wife mm -hmm. popped her head into into rehearsal and she's like, wait, what what the heck was that? And, what was that? And then your wife was like <laughs> on the same page, dancing. Yeah, dancing. And I'm like, okay, well, they feel the same thing that we're feeling right now too. On the record, my wife dances to everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she does, yeah. But how funny is it that it that ended, ended up being a single off of the album? Like it was almost not a song on the album at all. True. And then it became one of the singles that. Yeah. You know, people... how that stuff happened, right? <laughs> yeah. I think it's one of the best songs on the record too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, I can hear it yeah. on the radio. Yep. So, which is why we released it as a second single, because you know, it also <laughs> features Aaron singing. Rather than the first single where I was singing, but, but yeah, I mean the riff is so, it's just great, you know, it's just yeah. awesome. Well, I I, everybody I sent it to when we finished, of all our musician friends, were like, "Oh my god, it's so old school! It's perfect! It's great! <laughs> Leave it! Don't touch anything!" And a great guitar solo. Oh, yes, wow. thank you. I dig that a lot. The uh, the there's the one bend in it where you I think yeah. you bend it and, or the low one. I think you yeah. bend like a pulse. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. A string up. And yeah. then that phrase you do at the end, they come out of it. I don't know. Is that mixolydian? No. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's not harmonic <laughs> modern mixolydian or something. It's not mixolydian. Yeah. No, it's not that. <laughs> no, it's it's it's, 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 it's a it, that's just a, a a chromatic riff that I learned from the guy that I studied guitar from, Bernie Brassweather. Great, Bernie. Yes, so that that was a uh, contribution of Bernie. 
There you go. That's and cool. and it fit perfect. Because actually, when we were when I was cutting the solo, when we were doing takes of it, I think I might have punched a solo on that one. I don't think so. I can't remember. I don't remember now, but I remember, I, or I, or we did a take of it, and and Joe DeMeo was like, "Oh my God, that's so cool," and and I remember coming into the control room to hear it, for, on the big speakers, and and I I was still unsure of myself whether that was because that was just winging it. I didn't yeah. plan that at all, mm -hmm. yeah. and then, um, yeah, and then that's what came out. That's what stayed. You might have wanted to do a punch, and we were all like, "No." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Yes. Yeah, I remember we that was the one. Because I was yeah. like, oh, I, don't yeah. know, I don't know about the riff. The -da 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 -da. And Joe was like, no, 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 leave that. <laughs> it's got a lot of character. Like, it really says something. Mm -hmm. that, that little, it does. So I'm, I think cool. that a lot. Cheers. We're getting better as we go. All right. Like fine red wine. I mean, that was the idea. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, uh, great song in the middle of the record. It really uh, changes the vibe, too, from where yes. it was before. Right? Sure. It's sort of a little funkier. Yeah. Little, Dirtier. Gritty. I mean, yeah, it's got some some stank on this one. Yeah, it's yeah. got some stank. Yeah, when you yeah. sing that song, like, just it, yeah, it's it's nasty. It's <laughs> Good. Cool. I like that be. part too, John, where we it's the so the chorus is not a double chorus at the end. It's only it's a chorus and a half, if you want to call it that. But that last half section, we cut, we open it up more, mm -hmm. and I yeah. clicked over to the bridge pickup and opened up the guitar and. It's just that's yeah. it's cool. Yeah. It's, people really, they vibe with that when we play it live. Every time. Mm. Let's hope it keeps going. Yes. <laughs> we'll keep playing that one. Yes. I, I didn't even have to I mean I just basically I keep a groove. Like cause every, everything else was going on. It's like I didn't need to like it's a pretty straightforward tune, right? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Like I I don't like I don't do a lot of fills and I I do when I do a fill it's the same one every time pretty much. <laughs> it's like but it's just like there's so much going on like check out the book if you listen to the, the the parts like the um like the bass and the guitar and the drums and the vocals really aren't like connect I mean we're all connected but we're all playing completely different things at the same time <laughs> that's true I yeah. never thought about that yeah like, that is true like none of us are locked to the whole song but it's like it's like it, maybe the chorus. What we're all doing is complete and like a whole, like well, a thing. Yeah. Even in the chorus, I'm singing counter to you guys. Uh, no, <laughs> another great thing too, I think that was really cool about the chorus is that the words don't come in on the downbeat. They do not. Yeah. So the, really, the chorus starts with the riff, and then the and then the words come in, and it's like that's completely. Paul Rogers ish kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That's thing is well, so cool. And even yeah. that pre-chorus thing reminds me of Bad Company. Yes, definitely. You want to know. You want to know. know. Yep. Yeah. You want to know. Yep. Well, you can tell who we're influenced by. Sure, of course. <laughs> sure. That's pretty obvious. I think throughout the record, we'll find a lot of, oh. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh. I see I, think that. I feel like at this point in the record, too, we've gone through like a couple different genres. Yeah. Like styles, I guess. And sure. there's still more. <laughs> yes, well, that's more interesting for because I mean, instead of a, like a bunch of singles, it sounds like a cohesive mm -hmm. record, right? It's yeah. not like a concept album where everything no. like specifically goes from one to the next, but it has a flow to it, and I like the fact that it doesn't just stick to one flavor. Right, me too. That would be yeah. boring. Yeah, right? it was just the same thing all the way through. Yeah, but, and it, it's a chance for us to also like kind of break out all of our different influences. Sure. sure. You know. I think I think we accomplished that. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So. All right. Number six, six down. Number six, six down. down. All right. Cool.